The most common complaint that I hear from men about women is, you know, women are way too masculine. And the most common complaint that I hear from women is, you know, men these days are way too feminine. And, you know, whenever I hear that, the first thing that comes to mind is, you know, like when men say that, I think, well, you're you're creating that reality because you're too feminine and when women complain about men about them being too feminine my first thought is well no you're you're creating that by being too masculine and what's really happening is when people do this they're not fully accepting responsibility for the reality that they're creating they are expecting reality to be a certain way and you know just keep complaining about it instead of actually doing something about it and i'm not saying that there there aren't problems with men being too feminine and women being too masculine of course of course i i would never deny that that's one of the most obvious things in our in our society today you just have to you just have to have eyes and ears and you can that's pretty obvious but what I am saying is that that's up for you to change. Stop waiting around for, you know, men to become more masculine or women to become more feminine and, and, and become the change by changing yourself. That's what you need to do. And, and that changes everything. Once you adopt that mindset, it changes everything. Like, you know, I, I've spent years meeting hundreds and hundreds of women. And my experience is uh, women are basically all really feminine because when I meet them, I'm being really masculine. So this whole reality of, you know, women are really um, are way too masculine these days. That doesn't exist for me because I was always able to force them into a into a feminine polarity. And this was way before I knew anything about the masculine or feminine. I learned um, self-development and uh, um, learning to be masculine with women without learning any of that stuff. That's been a much more recent thing for me. But that was my reality. And, and it's the same thing for women. Like I, have, I have seen and heard and experienced and now started um, like coaching women or the same thing where they completely their reality is being around a lot of masculine men because they're operating through much so so much through their feminine and so like that that's why i say like the first step that you really got to get a handle on which people just do not want to admit to themselves is that you need to be 100% responsible for the reality that you're creating once you do that, it gets so much easier to create a different reality. And I'm going to use my relationship as an example. Um, so even though, you know, I've, I've dated many uh, very feminine women, the uh, woman that I actually fell for and married, um, she has a very, very strong, well-developed masculine um, programming. And, you know, extremely assertive. And it's, it's like a it's healthy. Um, it's a healthy masculine development as well. As far as women go, it's, you know, her, her maturity, um, like masculine maturity is actually much more developed than mm, the vast majority of men I know. Um, so just very mature, very, very assertive, uh, very calm, grounded, um, you know, for a lot of our relationship, she was the one that was actually leading or trying to lead us out of our uh, our conflicts by trying to understand how I felt um, and now that's been completely reversed but that was how it initially was and so um, you know I really fell for her because she just had such high self-esteem and, and high self-confidence and high self-worth um, and so what that did was when normally most of my uh, interactions with women were very polarized, where I was very much in my masculine and they were very much in their feminine. And with her, um, it was more back and forth. 
but much more close to like a androgynous relationship where we're both um, you know neutral in our in our masculine and our feminine and sometimes you know I would be much more in my masculine um, and she'd be more in her feminine sometimes it would be the reverse and um, <clears throat> that yeah you know our relationship was quite good um, overall, you know, it's certainly better than most relationships because we are both very developed whole people, um, relatively mature people. So we were able to make that relationship work, but there was still definitely some, um, real problem areas. And it was all because of that, uh, lack of polarity in our relationship. And, you know, I actually, I, I'm really great. Uh, grateful that I had that experience for years because it helps me understand the dynamics so much more in the mindset because in my mind um, in my relationship I'm like oh my my wife is just so amazing in so many ways but I just wish you know sometimes she was more feminine um, because I did feel that there was that missing and you know I kind of I don't like to impose on people. I don't like to blame people for things. I like people to just figure out things on their own and grow on their own. But, you know, in the back of my mind, I was like, I was, it was kind of, it was like blame for her. Like, she, you know, I wish she would change. That's kind of her thing that she needs to focus on. Um, instead of me taking a hundred percent, and that, that's not nor that wasn't normal for me because when I was dating, it was always, this is a hundred percent about me. This is about, um, I need to take a hundred percent responsibility for my life and what I'm creating. But, you know, in my uh, marriage, I lost some of that for the first few years. And it was about, you know, I, I struggled with it. I tried to accept as best as I could, but there was some blame about, oh, I, you know, sh she needs to work on becoming more feminine. And that completely changed as soon as I really started diving into masculine and feminine programming and um, understanding it fully and realizing that, no, this is, this is a hundred percent my responsibility. This like, of course she needs to be responsible as well, but I shouldn't be blaming her for anything. This is something I need to take responsibility for. If she's not being as feminine as I want, well, that's because I'm not being as masculine as I should be. As a man, I'm not taking responsibility and creating that polarity in, that, in the relationship. And, you know, I, I had the ability to. Um, I didn't, you know, I, I didn't, going into my marriage, I had very little relationship experience. I had casually had a few non-exclusive relationships. Um, but, you know, there is, it was completely based on independence and freedom. There is no growth in that way. I had one other relationship before that, uh, one serious one, and it was, you know, it was kind of a disaster. Um, and and looking, you know, f for a long time, I, I put more of the blame on on the uh, woman for that. But really, now looking back, I see, you know, I could have fixed all that if I under if I had the tools, if I had the knowledge, um, I could have. That was completely solvable. I just didn't know what to do. And the problem was I was not being as masculine as I should have in that relationship either. I was not leading towards the outcomes that I wanted um, that would make a relationship work. Like uh, when she, um, and this is for both my, my current marriage and my, my past one, um, you know, when she got angry at me, instead of leading towards asking her how she actually feels um, and, and getting it focused on her feelings, instead of it being about blame and, and trying to change me, I would just get angry and lash back because I felt imposed on. I felt that I don't like being blamed. Um, I don't like it when people don't take responsibility. And, and whenever I felt that blame, I would just lash back like this is unfair, right? And it is unfair, but the thing is, you know, complaining about it isn't going to fix it. But as soon as I started leading towards, um, leading towards her talking about her feelings, that changed everything. 
And well, it didn't change every, everything, but that was one huge piece of the puzzle that it really started changing. Um, and you know, with my wife and um, my other past partner, when they would tell me to do things, I got really irritated because I don't like being told what to do. Um, and I would try to accept it. I would try to accept it. And I could never really fully accept it. And it was, you know, I didn't understand the masculine and feminine back then. Um, but once I finally understood that and realized like, no, I need to be leading towards an outcome of making sure that uh, she's not telling me what to do. She's not trying to lead me. I need to be the one that's leading. I need to be the one that is um, meeting her needs in our relationship so that she doesn't feel like she needs to be leading. I need to be devoted to her feelings so that she doesn't need to be in her masculine to try to get her, her needs met. You know, all that stuff is on me. All that stuff is on 100% about me taking responsibility for leading the relationship to where it needs to go. And the exact same thing is for women, because, you know, a lot of women, a lot of women have the mindset of, you know, guys need to be doing that. They need to be doing what I eventually did. And that's true. They do. But you don't have control of that in that way. And just b continuing to blame and criticize and complain about it, that's not going to fix anything. But what you can do is take responsibility for yourself and how you are, um, take responsibility for how you're creating that outcome. Um, and, and that will change the vast majority of men. Obviously it won't change abusers. It won't change narcissists. Um, probably won't change really feminized men who really, really need a mother, but it will change the vast majority of men. You know, if you just learn to be really vulnerable and talk about your feelings instead of blaming, um, instead of backseat driving and telling a man what to do um, and, and stop leading him and stop criticizing from his decisions and instead learn to appreciate what he's trying to give you um, and you just learning to receive it fully and um, and submit to his leadership and let let him lead. Let him lead and let him build that, um, like develop his masculine programming by you going more into your feminine programming. That's on you. And so I, I don't blame either gender for what's going on here. I am telling each gender, you need to take full responsibility for the reality you're creating. And that is how your reality is going to change. Um, it has for me. Uh, both in my dating life when I did that, it completely changed. And then in my marriage, when I finally figured out this masculine feminine stuff, you know, it changed um, like a 180 in a matter of months just by applying all this um, and, and taking responsibility for what I was creating. It's so simple. It's so simple when you get it. Um, and then just decide I'm going to push through every fear it takes to apply this because it is scary. It is scary. Um, it is scary to take responsibility and, and change who you are to create your reality. But when you do, it's all your problems go away. It's so easy. So that's, that's kind of the message I want to give for this video is, um, you know, take a hundred percent responsibility for your life and what you're creating in your, your dating life and your rela your relationship life. And then once you do, everything starts to change. Till next time.